Hi, I'm back again talking about the table saw that I reviewed um, in a previous video. Um, I noticed that some people had been complaining about the fact that the saw blade was not perpendicular to the, the, the rip fence or whatever. I'm not sure what they were saying. But what I did on my particular saw is I put a, um, a tape from the blade to the um, cross-cut adapter um, slot. And when I go over to the blade, you can see the center of the blade is spot on at six and a half inches. If I go over to the other side, and I move the blade again over here, the blade is again six and a half inches spot on from the, uh, the slot. So, so the, you know, and the, the blade is clearly not bent. Um, so, okay, with that said, I wanted to rip a piece of, in my case, hardy panel. Um, and so I moved the, the rip fence in to, and this is how I found this. I wanted to cut it at five, and, five inches wide. So I want to put the, the right I'm a, the, the part to be cut is right here. The part that I want to use is right here. The rest of it's going to be over here. So I'm going to move the rip fence to where the, the right hand edge of the blade is at five inches. All right, for the sake of this um, video, Let's call that, yeah, let's do it just a little bit. All right, let's call it that. All right, so the first thing I notice is that if I, um, so that's, so it's correct right here at the rip fence. So I happen to notice coincidentally that it's right on the edge of the slot. So if I move the rip fence up here at the, this end to where it is so there's about the same amount of of overhang where's my finger all right go move it just a little bit farther and I wouldn't normally do it this way but I mean I'd usually measure it but it's hard to do that with a phone in my hand. All right, so so that should be five inches. Okay, we're gonna go back here. That's five inches. Go back to the blade on the other side of the blade. Again, and it's five inches. So everything's looking good. Now all I have to do is push down the cam lock and life's going to be good. Except that over here where the blade, where I originally thought was five inches, it's still about five inches. And over here, it's about a 30-second off. Okay, so it's spot on five right there. And it's wide of the mark here. Now, as I said in the video before, this is not a $2,500 table saw. So it's about maybe a, might be a sixty-fourth of an inch off. All right, if we look over here, and, we, and you can see the gaps widening, where the air, you know, this is the slot, this is the shoulder. So here it's wider than it is here. 
by a little bit. To my eye, not looking through the phone, it's pretty obvious. So, I'm going to take the rip fence off and show you what I found. And inverting the rip fence, here's the underside of it. And what you see, uh, I guess I should have done it horizontally, um, is that these um, shoulders bear against this. When, they, when you pull the, the cam lock down, the, this thing pulls in and tightens it against the table. And it, it tightens it against the table on the far end and against these nylon pieces um, on the near end. And so what's clearly happening is that these two nylon pieces are not parallel to the table. I mean, that they're not exactly, you know, a line drawn from here through here is not exactly perpendicular to the rip fence. So what I'm going to do is take these off and machine a new piece that um, is going to be perpendicular. And, and what that should produce is a rip fence that is true to the blade. So that's all I have to say about that.